Hello and welcome to Aging and Awesome. I'm Kai Sisson. Today, we're taking care of business. Medical equipment sure is expensive, but a nonprofit is helping seniors and their families by providing costly devices for free. We explain and share the story of a special volunteer. The health benefits of a massage. We didn't have to ask Joe twice to do this one. Our friends over at Nevada Advanced Pain Specialists tell us how treating pain can be as relaxing and fun as a massage. And oh boy, Joe will make you laugh during this one. To the hills we go. George and his friend Ashley show us how mountain biking is a great way to stay active and how the young and old have a lot to teach each other. All that and more is next on this episode of Aging and Awesome. For nearly 30 years, CareChest has been a critical health resource for thousands of Northern Nevadans. By providing medical equipment, nutrition, and supplies to low-income people in our community, CareChest is undoubtedly unique to not just Nevada, but to the country. Have a look. Welcome to our warehouse here at CareChest. This is where the magic happens. Take a look around. It's a warehouse like no other. We give out um, anything from a crutch or a cane to uh, an electric hospital bed. Uh, we have motorized vehicles like scooters and um, electric wheelchairs. Uh, we have a large need right now, or, or a lot of folks are wanting the rollators, which is the rolling walker that has the seat so they can sit. And that is something that we give out a lot of. We give out walkers, bedside commodes, transfer shower benches, all, all types of different pieces of, of durable medical equipment. It's an urgent and unmistakable need, helping Nevadans who cannot afford these life-changing and sometimes life-saving devices. We serve folks that are under 138% of the federal poverty level. And others for a small fee. Then we have Club Care Chest, and that's where individuals that are over 138% of the federal poverty level can pay a membership fee of only $50 for the year. Though most of this equipment is used, it's in full working order, and of course, clean. And then here is our fabulous hub scrub. This is um, a unique machine that we were able to get um, in 2016 that sanitizes and cleans all of our durable medical equipment. And so we're happy to have this because it gets rid of all the bad bugs. <laughs> durable medical equipment isn't the only challenge Care Chest bravely tackles to keep our community healthy. Diabetic supplies, medical nutrition, and incontinence protection are also available here. We have our diabetic supplies here meters, test strips, syringes, lancets for all your diabetic needs. Um, we have a variety of different um, supports and braces over here for different injuries. Down this aisle here we have incontinence protection which is one of our um, growing programs. A lot of folks need some assistance with incontinence protection. We have um, all types of sizes of crutches and canes. Our back wall is a very special area. It has colostomy supplies. Um, all of that is donated from other folks that have needed those supplies in the past, and so we keep a wall of different types of colostomy supplies. Over here to my right, um, all types of different wound care. All of these items are donated as well. Staying independent at home is a struggle many face. Whether it's needing a wheelchair ramp or a bathroom modification, Care Chest is meeting those needs as well. You know, we had a gal that hadn't had a shower, a regular shower, for over four years and um, our case manager went in and helped develop her goals, got her a roll-in shower bay and she cried. She called him crying um, because she hadn't felt that, that feeling of the shower beating on your back 
in over four years. And so, you know, it's just the impact that we, we have is just significant. Funded by grants and community partners, the most important way they are able to continue is good old-fashioned product donations. You want to bring us your gently used durable medical equipment and supplies, because we have all kinds of supplies in here, wound care, colostomy supplies, catheters, things like that. Bring us your supplies and we'll be able to give those um, out to folks that are really in need. And good old-fashioned volunteers keep Care Chest open. This is Phyllis Young, who has been donating her time for the last 12 years. There are a lot more seniors who are really living close to the edge, and they really need our help. Because a lot of people will come in and say, how much do we owe you? You don't owe us anything. We're here to help you. Care Chest is not just unique in Reno, but on a national scale. You know, we get calls across the country almost on a weekly basis from people who want to know where their care chest is in their state. We are the only agency that we know of in the United States that provides these services um, across all of these different programs. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's special. And not forgetting about our rural neighbors, care chest has recently expanded. And so what we've done is we've been working with the Food Bank of Northern Nevada and Catholic Charities of Northern Nevada, um, identifying locations in rural communities that we wanted to start a pilot project in where we would bring our supplies out and our equipment out to those rural communities on a monthly basis. And so we're in 18 locations currently. Care Chest is located on North Virginia Street in Reno, just south of Lemon Drive. For more information on how they can help you, give them a call at 775-829-2273 or head to our website, agingandawesome.com. It's not just our kids and grandkids we tell to save money. A lot of us seniors are on a fixed income, so saving is key to survival. Kai has some weekly tips to save some dough. That's right, Joe, you're gonna like this one because I think a lot of people can relate. I was at the store the other day buying a birthday card, and when I went to the checkout, it was $6 oh. for a piece of paper. I was astounded, so I said, no, thank you, <laughs> and left. <laughs> Good, says Joe. <laughs> but I didn't go without giving a card. I made one myself, and I'm not artistic at all. I wish I could show you guys. <laughs> I drew a little picture, and I wrote a little nice thing. Uh, and the person that I gave it to loved this handwritten card and said they will treasure this authentic and personal gift forever. No way was I spending $6. You no, know, I agree with that so much, and I think that Sometimes when you when you make it yourself, it means more to somebody because they know you really had to think about it. Mm -hmm. Then just go out and pay. And you're right. Why why should you pay so much for something? Someone's going to look at it and throw it away. Right. Most of the time. I know. What's the rules on how long you keep those? <laughs> like until your birthday's over? Right. Or a month after? I don't but know. Some people keep everything, but True. most people don't. They just read it, look at it. Mm -hmm. And the dollar store is a great place to go True. to buy cards. They have a great variety. They have cards for a dollar, they have cards for two dollars, and you can really find what you like and what you want to say. That's easily. really smart. Dollar store. It is I'll smart. remember Be that smart. next time. Be smart. Be thrifty. <laughs> this senior savings tip is brought to you by Donald Bernard Investment Advisor. For over 30 years, native Nevadan Donald Bernard has built an outstanding local and national reputation specializing in retirement. For income ideas, give Don a call at 775-786-8500. No client is too big or too small. Coming up next on Aging and Awesome, George pedals his way through the California backlands, how he is inspiring young people to also be active, healthy, and excited about life. Plus, I am going to get a massage. This is a fun one. Our friends at Nevada Advanced Pain Specialists have some ideas for you to stay away from surgery and be pain-free. But first, Joe teaches us some Italian. It's back this week, Joe, because I missed it. I want to know, what do I need to say if I'm ever in Italy to, uh, let's say, approach a woman? What if, what, what is, how do you woo a woman in Italy? Uh, I've never done that. <laughs> I know that, but what would one say to someone? <laughs> Ma che bella! Ma First che... of all, you compliment the person. Ah. You, you can say, oh, che belli uh, capelli, which means what beautiful hair. Or che, che belli occhi. Or sorriso, which is your smile. Because the people really look at you there. I mean, ah. they, they don't feel bad about 
really giving you the once over. So uh, anyone that's been there would say, yeah, I know that happened to me. And it isn't that they're rude, it's just that they're interested and okay. they just show it. That's how it is. Machiavelli? Say. One more time. Molto bella. Molto, Molto bella. bella. Molto bella. All right. To Italy, let's go. Lakeside Manor is the official home of Aging and Awesome. Setting the standard for senior living in northern Nevada, Lakeside Manor residents enjoy three meals daily, weekly housekeeping, laundry services, activities, and transportation, all while being in the heart of Reno. Take a tour of Lakeside Manor today. At Senior Care Plus, we're more than just a Medicare Advantage plan. We're your local experts in helping you understand the facts about Medicare so you can make the best decision for your health. Confused about Medicare? Then you'll want to attend our educational seminar on the ABCs of Medicare. This is not a sales meeting. It is a free seminar where you'll learn about all of your Medicare options so you can make the right choice. ABCs of Medicare. Reserve your seat today. Call or visit SeniorCarePlus.com. Someone you love needs a little help with the ins and outs of day-to-day -day living. Compassion-driven quality care. That has been the Lend-A-Hand way for the last 26 years. We have helped thousands of seniors with personal care, light housekeeping, transportation, and more. Still family-owned and operated. Visit LendAHandSS.com today. Lend a hand, lend a hand. Our caregivers make the difference. At Caring Transitions, we often hear people say they wish they had heard of us years earlier. Relocating and downsizing can be stressful and overwhelming. As the nation's largest professional resource for household liquidation, we offer a total solution to handle every aspect of your move. Maybe you're looking to have an estate sale, downsize to a smaller home, or simply reduce years of clutter. Our experts can help. Contact Caring Transitions. We can help make life easier for your family. Are you looking for work that matters, that lasts? Then lean in, because we're a company on the move. Head over to MorningstarSeniorLiving.com. And apply today. You may be exactly what we're looking for. Another great heart. We are Morningstar. We are Morningstar. We are Morningstar. Bringing life and light is what we do. Nevada Advanced Pain Specialists are the region's leaders in treating chronic pain. We take a comprehensive, multidisciplinary approach that treats every person's pain individually. Our unique treatments and minimally invasive procedures are implemented into our physical therapy, massage therapy, and cognitive behavioral therapy. And we want to help our patients return to a maximum level of functioning and independence without covering it up with medications. Visit our website to find out more about the region's Center for Injury Rehabilitation, Nevada Advanced Pain Specialists. Aging and Awesome is brought to you by Infinity Hospice Care. Family owned and operated, serving Nevada for over 10 years. They provide dedicated, compassionate, expert care for your loved ones. Visit infinityhospicecare.com today. Here at Nevada Advanced Pain Specialists, I'm here with Shauna. I'm going to have a massage. Great. Yay. Well, I'm so excited to have you here today. Thank Are you. you. Ready? I am you so ready. Getting a massage ready. really helps reduce the pain and give you that good self-care that you need to take care of yourself. Massage really helps to break down the adhesions in the muscle bellies and so that'll relieve the muscle pain. It also helps to lubricate the joints, which my senior patients really seem to have more arthritis and more joint problems and stiffness, and so it will lubricate those joints. Um, my medical massage patients usually come in once a week, maybe every other week if they have specific pain problems. I do have a number of patients that are more on a month to month basis or every six weeks. I do have a no number of referred patients from our practice here. We don't bill insurance for massage, but we um, do, you can use your HSA card, which is really nice. This way I get to develop a relationship with you, so it's a long-term thing where I get to know your body, and each time you come in, you might come in with a different problem each time, and I can customize your session to your body's needs that day. So the arthritis is a big thing. Circulatory problems are also a big thing in my senior patients. As we get older, the valves in our circulatory system start to weaken, and so massage will really help to increase that circulatory system. It helps lower blood pressure, 
It helps with my patients that have diabetes. A lot of them have leg pains and that'll really help. If you've had hip replacements or knee replacements, it really helps post-surgical. I know there's even more of that. I, those are just off the top of my head. The human to human contact, a lot of seniors lose that as we get older, we don't have as much human contact with each other. And so this gives you that touch and that's really important in our day to day lives. It's really nice to develop that long term relationship with people and you don't get to do that at a spa. Here at Nevada Advanced Pain, it's really great to work here because it's collaborative. So I can look at your chart from the doctors and see exactly what was going on. I can look at your MRIs or your x-rays and see exactly what I need to do to help treat you. And I can converse with the doctors and the physical therapists to see what they would recommend that I do for their patients. Everybody can use more massages in their life. It's helpful to the younger generation as well as the older generation. And I would say as soon as you even consider it, come in and see what it's all about. Well, Joe, you had a nice time, I see. I <laughs> loved it. I've always believed that the best gift that you could give a person is get them a massage. Mm -hmm. But uh, many people that I've found are, are a little uh, oh, shy or a little strange about being touched, but you don't think of it as you think of it as a health thing. You right, think it's of professional. It as, as a, and it's professional. And people that do massage, they always know that. And they're very careful about Absolutely. how they treat you and respect you. And, and once you have that feeling and you let yourself enjoy it, you will want to have it again and again and again. That's right. <laughs> Go check out Nevada Advanced Pain Specialist for a massage. Thank you, Joe. That was so fun. Still to come on Aging and Awesome, buckle your seatbelt for a ride in Kai's cab and buckle your helmet. George takes us to the mountains. Closed captioning for Aging and Awesome is brought to you by... At Senior Care Plus, we're more than just a Medicare Advantage plan. We're your local experts in helping you understand the facts about Medicare so you can make the best decision for your health. Confused about Medicare? Then you'll want to attend our educational seminar on the ABCs of Medicare. This is not a sales meeting. It is a free seminar where you'll learn about all of your Medicare options so you can make the right choice. ABCs of Medicare. Reserve your seat today. Call or visit SeniorCarePlus.com. Across the country, we walk, carrying flowers that signify why we want to end Alzheimer's disease. But what if one day there was a white flower for Alzheimer's first survivor? What if there were millions of them? Join us for the Alzheimer's Association Walk to End Alzheimer's. Register today at alz.org slash walk. Someone you love needs a little help with the ins and outs of day-to-day -day living. Compassion-driven, quality care. That has been the lend hand way for the last 26 years. We have helped thousands of seniors with personal care, light housekeeping, transportation, and more. Still family-owned and operated, visit LendAHandSS.com today. Lend a hand, lend a hand. Our caregivers make the difference. Life is story, pages of amazing adventure, and narrow escapes. Bold steps taken, races run, chapters on love and heart lessons, and new beginnings. Your life, your legacy, our privilege to serve. Morningstar Senior Living. Aging and Awesome is brought to you by Eden Home Health, Northern Nevada's highest rated home health for quality of patient care. Patients have a choice. Ask your doctor for the best in-home health care, Eden Home Health. Call Eden today at 775-828-1000. You are in Kai's cab. I've been here eight days. You've been in Kai's cab for eight days? No, the Reno. <laughs> Reno no for eight days? Welcome. What brings you to the biggest little city in the world? To get the hell out of California. <laughs> well, welcome to Reno and welcome to Kai's cab. Thank you. What's your name, sir? Bob. Bob. All right, Bob. How do you feel today? Because I'm going to be asking you. Actually, 
damn good. Feeling damn good, okay. <laughs> I'm gonna be asking you some questions. Here's the rules to Kai's Cab. You get three out of four questions right and you are a winner of a great prize. Okay, your first question today on this Tuesday in Reno. It's a question about presidential history, your American history, I hope you know. How many future U.S. presidents signed the Declaration of Independence? A, zero. B, four. C, two. Or D, six. Four. Oh, Bob. Tell me what, two? Bob, it's two. Bad Only feeling. two. Thomas Hell, Jefferson. I didn't know. Taught me something I didn't know. Oh, good. Thomas Jefferson and John Adams. Okay. Okay, so you uh, got to get three right, so you have three more chances. You got to get the next three correct. I should have remembered that. I should watch 1776. That's the right the year. The musical, I mean. The musical, okay. Yeah, the musical. Now you got something to do for the rest of your day. What do you have planned for the rest of the day? Nothing. Okay. All right, Bob, question number two. Here you go. What celebrity was the victim of an infamous wardrobe malfunction during the 2004 Super Bowl halftime show? Was it A, Lady Gaga? B, Mariah Carey, C, Janet Jackson, or Janet D, Jackson, of Madonna. Course. You are correct. It is C, Janet Jackson. Do you remember that wardrobe malfunction? Yeah, a booby. <laughs> well, That's correct. You, what do you want to call it? <laughs> a breast. <laughs> you gotta be politically correct. Bob, you're great. You, uh, I really hope you win here. You gotta get your third question right, okay? okay. And your fourth I, question Even right. if I don't win, it's been fun. Oh, that's good. I'm glad. That's the attitude in Kai's cab. Well, I'm 73 and I'm trying to have fun now. That's why I got the hell out of California. I'm always looking for a girlfriend that's got money. Oh, Bob, you're a riot. Okay, your third question, Bob. Here we go. Do you like to play board games? No, I haven't played one in 45, 50 years. Oh, I don't no. remember. I don't remember. I want you to win so badly, but it's a board Ask game question. Ask me a question. question about a board game. Uh, Better be old. So I hope, you're a good, I hope you're a good guesser. Here we go. Your third question. Which of the following is not a weapon in Clue? Is it A, a lead pipe? B, a gun, C, a rope, or D, a golf club. Not a wet golf club, I guess. <laughs> you got it correct. See, you're a pro guesser. Oh, well, yeah. uh, I haven't played that game. That's a gun board team I haven't played in 30 years. Okay. All right. Here's another question. It's your last one. You got to get it right. All right. Where Make it simple. is Martin Luther King Jr.'s birthplace? Is it A, Brooklyn, New York, B, Atlanta, Georgia, C, Chicago, Illinois, or D, Nashville, Tennessee? Uh, Atlanta. Yeah! You win. Thank you. Now I want what, you to win. Now then, do I get a bucket of money? <laughs> no? No, Bob, you don't get a bucket of money. You then, get a, a, a box of chocolates. Oh, wonderful. A box of chocolates from me to you. Oh, well, thank you very much. <laughs> I'm glad you had fun. Thanks yeah, for playing Guys Cab. I did. Are you looking for an encore career? At Lend a Hand, we are looking for compassionate and reliable people who can care for and relate to our seniors. We offer part time and full time schedules with benefits. Call Lend a Hand to get your encore career started today. Hi, I'm George, and welcome to another aging and awesome adventure. What's today's adventure? Today we're going to do a little mountain biking and I get the distinct privilege of doing it with my two grandboys, Ryder who's 12 and Griffin who's 11. And then we're going to teach a young lady, Ashley, how to ride a mountain bike for the first time. And of course she's telling me she already knows how to do it, but we'll see. Hey guys, I'm Ashley Bornanson. I'm so excited to be mountain biking with George. George takes everything to the next level, so he's like, get ready. We're going to be riding in the mountains. He's like, I need to teach you. I'm like, I don't need to be taught how to ride a bike, but apparently we do. So George, what makes it different riding in the hills of Reno than, you know, cycling on the nice pads of Santa Monica? Mm. The different thing with a mountain bike is you're gonna be more in an athletic position, mm. more like this, because this bike is gonna be doing this. You're gonna be riding gravel. You're gonna be riding rocks. You're gonna be riding pine cones. There's a lot of different things. Always carry water with you, always wear a helmet, always, always wear a helmet. When you ride in LA, you don't have to wear a helmet because you want to look cute and fine, but. You know, I've always <laughs> thought that myself. I want to look, no, never mind. <laughs> 
So we're proving today that you can be any age and ride a mountain bike. Absolutely. So excited. <laughs> All right, let's go. Welcome to another adventure of aging and awesome. Woo! Once you get really good, you do tricks. <laughs> Don't take the camera guy out. Trying to kill the camera guy. Not many things in life is uh, fulfilling as uh, going out riding with the grandkids. He's super good at sports and he takes me to go mountain bike riding, skiing. I love riding bikes with my Opal. Opal is pretty fast. Come on the bridge. I like to spend time with him and it's Here super fun hanging out with him. That was so much fun. I give kudos to anyone who could keep up with you though. <laughs> well, thank you for that. Uh, for a first time on a mountain bike, you did very well for yourself. Right? Now we just need to do is get some more time in the saddle. And that's what it's about with anything. It just takes time. Don't expect miracles overnight. When you go out in these mountain bike rides, stop once in a while and just look around and see the beauty of the area. Mm -hmm. And of course, whenever you can get to go out and ride with your grandkids, it doesn't get any much better than that, right boys? Yeah. We are completely multi-generational on this adventure. It's so fun, it doesn't matter what age you are. Grab your helmet, grab your bike, and try to grab George. <laughs> <laughs> and grab George, huh? <laughs> yeah, we don't need to talk about that. <laughs> but mountain biking, so fun. You guys had a great time out there. Uh, yeah, we all had a great time. Um, got you out riding a little bit. Oh, yeah. The, the great part was he would run by us with while we're pedaling, he's running, so I tried to ride a little farther to see how far he could run. <laughs> they had me running with the camera holding it. I didn't break anything, though. No, you didn't fall or crash, unlike somebody else, but anyway. So. You slipped on some sand. Yeah, it was just a slip fall, it was no big deal. It's not a dangerous activity. It's no, you know, and it's just, I was almost stopped anyways, and. So it was fun for everybody. Everybody else enjoyed it. So no. they got entertainment from it. Uh, the camera wasn't rolling, otherwise we'd show it. But no, it was a good time. That's all the time we have for today, folks. Thanks so much for watching our challenge for you this week. Hey, do you know a senior who wants to be aging and awesome, but can't due to finances? We're announcing the all new Aging and Awesome Adventure Awards. Nominate a senior who wants to be active, healthy, and young at heart in a unique way and they could be selected for a grant and an opportunity to be featured on the show. Email agingandawesome at gmail.com with a short bio and how we can get in touch with them. Nominate someone today. Be sure to follow us on social media. Our Facebook is where you can watch new videos and episodes with more ideas on how to stay aging and awesome. Head to our Facebook and check it out. Starting next month, football season is back and beginning September 7th. Aging and Awesome will be directly after the Raiders' silver and black show at 7.30. And we will see you right back here next week, 7 p.m. on KTVN Channel 2 and live on Facebook. And if you haven't set your DVR to record Aging and Awesome yet, you should. We'll see you next week, folks. Bye-bye. One, two, three. Listen. <laughs>